this. I have the best advice for women in business. Get your and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. I've got to see what skin tone my child is before I can. Your kid's going to be black. I, it still be a very. When something private became public. And before you knew it, they had their own reality show. Keeping up with the Kardashians. You don't really act. No. You don't sing. You don't dance. You don't have any, forgive yes. me, any talent. Oh. Pepsi's facing backlash after pulling and apologizing for that controversial commercial that features supermodel Kendall Jenner offering a police officer a can of soda during a protest modeled on Black Lives Matter. We did not intend to make light of any serious issue, the company said in a statement. We also apologize for putting Kendall Jenner in this position. Some critics are wondering why Kendall got her own apology. It's incredible that Pepsi apologized to Kendall. She chose to be a part of that ad. And sometimes people come for my life. And I've watched it for years. People come for my life. When Brandy talked about people going after her, is there a chance that she was referring to Kim Kardashian? Cause Kim K did Brandy dirty when she scammed her. And we feel like people don't talk about that enough. Exactly how much money did Kim steal from Brandy? And why aren't people talking about this? Is it because Kris Jenner has been doing her best to keep the story buried? I was today years old when I found out that Kim and Khloe Kardashian stole over $100,000 from Brandy and that's why Ray J stopped messing with her. How come nobody ever talked about that? That's crazy. So sis really got her start from screwing and scamming? That's wild. Capitalism, exploitation, narcissist family, and the problematic bougie aesthetic lifestyle that is under capitalism. Millionaires and billionaires shouldn't exist. They should not exist. Capitalism is a very exploitative system that puts profits over lives every day underneath the system, period, point blank. As the wealth gap increases and millions of victims of capitalism all over the globe suffer due to inflation and employment, many cast blame on the millionaires and billionaires around them that shouldn't exist in the first place and rule all the top industries. With their TV shows and spinoffs, beauty brands and fragrances, clothing lines and collaborations, it's pretty obvious the Kardashians love to rank in the money and bask in the fame. Kim even admitted on the c cover of the September issue of Vogue Arabia, Kanye West took the opportunity to ask her and talk about how rich and famous she is. Kim admitted, Kim Kardashian admitted, money was always the goal, but I was obsessed with fame, like embarrassingly obsessed. I do agree that fame can be addictive, but she's still obsessed with fame and money, though. That's the thing. Like, Kardashian family vainly and narcissistically really think they're self-made. Here's a quote by Kim. I really didn't get it because she is self-made. We are all self-made. What? Because we come from a family that has success? To me, that doesn't really make sense. I know many people like that who haven't turned out to be successful as Kylie. If anything, I've seen the complete opposite. Nobody works harder than my sisters and my mom, Kim added. Kim told Refinery29 in a phone interview... Kim Kardashian West and Kylie Jenner landed on the Forbes 2018 list of the 60 richest self-made women. Again, however, millionaires and billionaires are not self-made whatsoever, despite what the Capitalist Pig media and news sources want you to think. Forbes named Kylie the world's youngest self-made billionaire in 2019 and again in 2020. These are the same problematic sisters and family that did say, or at least Kim said, and told people to get off their lazy asses and work because nobody wants to work anymore. And she c came under controversy and backlash over it. Kim again came over, you know, controversy and backlash when she told Vanity Fair, her advice, business advice for women, get off your fucking ass and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. Kim Kardashian also was mocked after complaining about not being recognized as a celebrity at a fast food restaurant in and out fast food chain. This family is so out of touch with reality too. Kim Kardashian gets hysterical over a lost diamond that fell into the ocean. Remember when Kim Kardashian's 75 carat diamond ring fell into the ocean? Like she spent thousands of dollars on that. There are bigger issues than uh, millionaires, you know, diamond getting lost in the ocean. Kim Kardashian fans have slammed the star over flaunting her wealth in a resurfaced tweet. People were in disgust and saw vile tweets from Kim Kardashian that sent on Twitter. 
that the reality TV star made in 2016 about how much money she had made from her mobile games. In the tweet, Kim wrote, Sorry I'm late to the party, guys. I was busy cashing my $80 million video game check and transferring $53 million into our joint account. Last year, the Mama 4 was slammed also for showcasing her children's luxury toy car collection as people were suffering suffering economic losses and families, you know, family economics due to the coronavirus 19 pandemic. That, that was another out of touch moment. Kim Kardashian is reportedly buying ridiculously overpriced stuff as of 2022 for Christmas, you know, so she can compete with her sisters and how much they're spending on her children. You know, the reality TV star has reportedly spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on designer clothes, jewelry for her four children, North 9, Saint 7, Chicago 4, and Plasm 3. Not only that, but Kim Kardashian when they were underpaid and not given breaks. A California lawsuit accuses reality TV star of violating labor law laws. I remind you, this is the woman who literally said that get off her ass and work. Kim Kardashian West is facing claims from seven members of the domestic staff that they were not paid enough or given breaks while employed at her California home. The plaintiffs claim that West failed to pay overtime, cover expenses, and provide legally mandated breaks according to a civil action filed in Los Angeles County Superior Court. Kim Kardashian's greed has finally got the better of her with the drug company plug on Instagram. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration, aka the FDA, has haggled the reality TV star after she posted with the morning sickness medication. However, she failed to mention a single side effect of the medication because, because of course, that would affect sales for you know the you know capitalist company. Yep, telling your fans they could feel drowsy, sleepy, or very constipated kind of takes away from the glamour of it all. Fans are angry that Kim Kardashian is still working with Balenciaga amid child ad scandals with the BDSM teddy bears that has been alleged to grooming children. Despite the disgusting actions of the company towards children, she still wants to be associated with them. What about your daughters and sons, Kim? Protect them. The Kardashians also gotten some hot water with Ray J and the sex porn tape. A scandal. Ray J outs greedy Kim Kardashian family and her mom over the latest sex tape claims. Shares receipts on Instagram. I've seen. I've sat in the shadows for over 14 years, allowing the Kardashians to use my name, abuse my name, make billions of dollars off of the whole situation. Talking about a topic that I've never really spoken about. I never leaked anything. I never leaked a sex tape in my life. It has never been a leak. It's always been a deal and partnership between Kris Jenner and Kim and me, and we've always been partners since the beginning of this thing. When I put on the comments, all of this is a lie. I didn't mean Kanye coming out to meet with me about some sex tape, told Ray J, the Daily Mail. I mean, all of this is a lie from the beginning of us putting the sex tape out. This has been the biggest lie, as in the entertainment industry and the history of entertainment. Ray J says Kim Kardashian and her mom were all for the sex tape idea being leaked. He was quoted in saying, towards the end, because of what they made me, I'm not allowed to be in those places. Ray J had said, also adding, for me, I've been walking on edge eggshells since the whole situation, thinking I'm going to get in trouble for telling the truth about the whole controversy and situation. I've been holding on to it for the past 14 years, watching them humiliate me, losing opportunities. They're celebrating my destruction. Now on to the Kim Kardashian and the whole, you know, Kardashian family exploitation of, like, true crime, you know, exploitation overall. There were a lot of people making a fortune off of this conservatorship. Britney Spears' bombshell testimony that she's being blocked from having a baby is sending out shockwaves. She's performing, but yet she doesn't have the control to the point where she can't even have a baby. I have an IUD inside of myself so that I don't get pregnant, but this so-called team won't let me go to the doctor to take it out because they don't want me to have children. And also exploitation of the Free Britney movement and their silence. Kim Kardashian still doesn't seem like she wants to cut ties with Balenciaga once again, despite the company and CEO trying to groom children in their Balenciaga ads and then trying to sue people when they 
are the ones who approved of the ad in the first place. The predators in the industry, which is despicable and gross. She wants to reevaluate her relationship with them instead of immediately cutting ties, you know, with Balenciaga. Like, what about her kids and stuff? Like, does she think that that's okay? She has children, too. Kylie defending her boyfriend and baby daddy, Travis, Travis Scott. Kylie Jenner spoken out about on Instagram and defended her boyfriend, rapper Travis Scott, after eight people were killed at Astral World Music Festival in Texas. But the thing is, her boyfriend multiple times was hyping up the crowd and becoming a dangerous situation. However, Astral World was not the first time that Travis Scott has faced scrutiny for his live shows and the way he encourages fans to rage with him. This leads to the formation of mosh pits, people crowd serving, and stage diving, aka dangerous activities. In the week since Britney Spears had delivered her powerful testimony about her abusive capitalism slavery conservation ship, some and fellow celebrities who rushed to voice their support immediately, but Kim Kardashian and her family were awfully quiet. Kim Kardashian and her family are involved in true crime cases and fighting for justice, but they seem to not really give a shit about Britney Spears's, you know, true crime case and situation at all, which makes you think that they are like just opportunist vultures and total snakes that are using the true crime case industry for attention on themselves and to promote themselves. It's not surprising, it's not surprising, you know, given how in recent years Kardashian has repositioned herself as an activist, particular for criminal justice reform. Even though we all obviously know that millionaires and billionaires are not good people at all, they are parasites via, you know, via capitalism exploitation and riding off the backs of the working class and stealing, you know, the fruits of their labor. Kim Kardashian's bizarre ties to Britney Spears' conservation ship nightmare. Kim Kardashian hasn't called to hashtag free Britney, but perhaps she stayed out out of it and stay quiet because she's linked to a key player in Spears' conservation ship, Lou Taylor. You know, Britney Spears and Kardashian, Kim Kardashian, are not strangers. You know, there have been multiple times where Kim Kardashian was fangirling over Britney and calling her a friend, and how her sister Khloe Kardashian was the host of the singing competition X Factor, while Britney Spears served as a judge in 2012, and, you know, Khloe tweeted her support of Britney, you know, the only time... Kardashian came close to mentioning Spears' whole conservation ship situation was in reaction to the documentary Framing Britney Spears. Kardashian wrote an Instagram story that she had finally gotten around to watching the documentary, but instead of commenting on the film's center point of, you know, her abusive conservation ship, Kim Kardashian only addressed the negative media coverage and paparazzi that she was forced to suffer through. She basically went on just to make the whole thing about herself and her experiences with the paparazzi, but she really didn't talk or, you know, about the conservation ship at all, or condemn it whatsoever. It's because she's working with Britney Spears' abusive manager, Lou Taylor, because all this family cares about is money and fame, otherwise they would have spoken out about this. On July 2020, the addresses for Lou Taylor's business, TriStar, was listed in corporate filings for Kim Kardashian's beauty company, KKW Beauty and Fragrance Business. On top of all this, the family and Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian's podcast, has been accused of true crime exploitation by the victim's family. She never called us not once survivors of the 1994 killing. That's not a subject that Kim Kardashian's Spotify podcast. They were saying and quoted, no one contacted them and insisted the man she's trying to free is guilty because they saw him do it. A brother and sister who survived the 1994 triple murder that is now the subject of Kim Kardashian's true crime podcast on Spotify tell Daily Mail and the star never bothered to contact them to check the facts of the case and assist the man she's trying to free is in fact guilty. Now in their early 30s, the siblings tell DailyMail.com they were stunned when the podcast emerged on October 3rd without their contribution and claimed they were never asked or invited to be on the podcast as guests. They were never heard from, from the crusading Kim Kardashian. And one of the victims, he went on to say, why doesn't Kim Kardashian come out here to Ohio and, you know, get our story? She doesn't want to hear from us. She wants to get him out to make herself look better and have the f attention focused on her for being this so-called, you know, activist that's fighting for, you know, the people of injustice, he went on. 
When it comes to cultural appropriation, toxic diet, and plastic surgery culture, colorism, black culture exploitation, racism, etc., keeping up with the Kardashians has ended, but their exploitation of black women's aesthetics continues. Another inspiration to Kim's sudden and extreme weight loss could be Chloe's newfound thinness. You look very skinny. Remember that the Kardashian Jenners consider themselves to be marketers before anything else. But they're not only marketers, they're also the product. Whereas normally marketers are unseen puppet masters directing you to the product that they want you to purchase, the Kardashian Jenners are the product. They want you to be like them, buy their product, and make them richer. It's important to consider this because as marketers, they have much less responsibility to their public. They themselves do not feel that they are your role models. They will sell and promote products and looks that may not be healthy for you, or at least not the best choice for you. And as much as I would love transparency from them, I don't think we're going to get it. So then the power has to be in your hands. Don't let their bodily choices affect how you feel about yourself. Kendall Jenner has landed in hot water after appearing in a Pepsi Super Bowl ad that was perceived as tone deaf and very offensive during the Black Lives Matter movement uprising. There was a huge backlash over that. Kim Kardashian is often criticized for treating black culture as a trend. Black fishing is when white or light skinned people try to appear black and partake in heavily in black culture without actually belonging to that culture, without understanding of the oppression or systematic racism that comes along with belonging to the black community, trying to benefit from blackness is deeply offensive. But a resurfaced video suggests that her ill-informed views on race must also extend to how she sees her own children. In a resurfaced video posted on Twitter, Kim Kardashian is having a conversation with Scott Stick about her baby and, and when it's due to be born and what kind of stroller she should get for them. At the time, Kim Kardashian was pregnant with Northwest and filming for her show, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Fans pointed out several odd occurrences about what she said in the clip, resurfacing allegations of black fishing or caring too much about her children's aesthetics before they're even born. Because rich people treat their pets like accessories, trying to match their pets to their furniture pieces and stuff. However, Kim Kardashian is actually doing this to her daughter. Kim Kardashian wanted to match her stroller to her baby skin tone instead. During the episode, Kim Kardashian puts together a stroller, but expresses concern about the color of fabric may not match her unborn daughter's skin tone. It's a vicious cultural cycle. You know, um, it's a vicious culture that loves curves on wealthy, racially ambiguous white women, but looks down upon these traits on black women. Her controversial 2014 paper magazine cover shot by Jean Paul Good, where she is bare bottom, is flanked by the line, Break the Internet, Kim Kardashian. On social media, in numerous think pieces, the cover drew comparisons to Savardi Bartman, the 19th century South African woman, who was paraded around Europe as a circus freak show and treated like an animal, where people can touch her body with a stick and uh, showing her Botox, her butt talks off and it was just you know pure exploitation of a you know poor black woman and as a result she uh died you know kim and since have changed her body pretty much as of 2022 she's now promoting toxic diet culture by losing weight to fit into marilyn Monroe's iconic dress kim kardashian's responding to those allegations that she ruined marilyn Monroe's dress did she or didn't she? We keep seeing stuff like the dress is ruined, the dress is this. All of that is uh, is not mm, true. No. Kim Kardashian breaks her silence about whether she ruined the iconic Marilyn Monroe gown she wore to the Met Gala. There was handlers and gloves that put it on me. Ripley's has said that the yeah. dress wasn't damaged. Yeah. The allegations started when these before and after photos circulated online. Which she ripped and also re reduced the size of her butt and boobs. Like the whole Kim Kardashian diet culture is just so toxic in general. Kylie Jenner lied at first about getting lip fillers, but she eventually admitted to it in 2017. When Kim Kardashian West Beauty launched in 2017, Kim Kardashian was accused of darkening her skin tone in a promotional image in, two, in June 2019. 
Kim Kardashian was accused of culture appropriation when she intentionally named her shapewear line Komodo. Kendall Jenner and Kylie Jenner were criticized for selling shirts, showing their faces, and copyrighted images of Tupac and Biggie Smalls. The family allegedly wasn't happy about this whole situation when it comes to Biggie Smalls and the Kardashians.